Hey friends, welcome back to Make My World Mini. I'm so excited to share with you today. So excited to share. I have quite a bit to share over the next few videos, actually. I have been very busy creating. Some stuff has taken me longer than I anticipated. Plus I was sick, plus work. Yeah, no, the whole, the whole nine yards, right? The whole nine yards. But anyway, I want to share a tour with you of what Dar's room looks like now or what mini world looks like now because I did combine my mini world with Dara so we combine them together and I'm trying to do that with the greenhouse and Luna's imagination station trying to combine them and also reset in the bakery and just other stuff that I would like to share with you hopefully in the near future so let's get started with the tour let's go it is very simple, but it is so cute. I love it so much. It turned out really cute. I made those and the little mushrooms I just painted. I bought them from Dollar Tree. I just think the skeleton looks really cute. All right, I think we should go up on the porch. Okay, so here's the porch. We have Mr. Jack and Mrs. Jack. And then we have my wagon. My wagon did take me some time to make and create to make it look the way that I wanted it to, but I like how it turned out. You've seen the signs and the pumpkins. And then I also wanted a bushel of apples over there, and I think that turned out really cute as well. So I have some stuff that I purchased from Dollar Tree recently that I need to add to the porch, but we will get to that. But let's go ahead and go in. Okay, so here we are inside. There's Mr. Bojangle, the refrigerator, the cauldron you've already seen. I'm pretty sure you have seen pretty much everything over here except for my bat stew pot. That creation is new. So we have a bat stew. Let's move on over to Dar's cabinet because I do believe you've seen everything on her table except maybe the pumpkin sitting right there. All right, so up here I made the headband, the bat headband, and put it on a pumpkin because it wouldn't fit the dolls. I'm not sure if you've seen the picture frames back, back there, but I think you have. I have put bones in a jar, made that yellow potion right there, and if we go down... I'm pretty sure you have seen everything else on there, except I made two new books, the one with the ghost and the one down here with the jar with the scorpion in it. So that's the only thing new on this cabinet at this time. If we move over, you can see Dara. Her chair is lit up and I added skeleton feet to it because I love making stuff for Dara and Dara's room. It's exciting for me. There's her other cabinet back there. Her money tree is behind her. Let's get closer to the fireplace. So I made a broom. I really like the broom. I was inspired to make a broom, so I made a broom. And then the cauldron I decorated. Now, as far as the table, there are a few creations that I've created on the table. Let's get closer and check those out. So I made the Halloween box. I painted the dome cake stand. We have another pumpkin. I wrapped the candy to go in the bags. I made a ghost candle stand and put a birthday candle in there because I seen another lady put a birthday candle in her candle stands and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I made some candy apples. I put um, those orange beads into a bowl I created out of air dry clay. I made these Halloween cookies. They're okay. They did not turn out as I had hoped. But for the mini world, they do look cute on a tray. And then I made some mummy dogs. I also made cans with stuff overflowing. I thought those were cute, will look really cute on a shelf. I made some witch's fingers out of the churros, and I made a knife 
and it's supposed to look like uh, food brain, you know, like when you go to Halloween parties and there's like a jello food cake brain. That's what it was supposed to look like, but the brain did not turn out as good as I had hoped. So there's that. And then I put my chandelier over here, but I do have a b wire broke in the chandelier that I have to fix. And I have my other pumpkins over here. And I'm pretty sure that's it of all my creations that I've created lately. So now let's go ahead and see what I found or bought from Dollar Tree. Let's go. Alright, so what did I find at Dollar Tree this time? I found these ornaments. I thought if I take them apart that they could become frames and hold pictures and I thought that would be really cute in Mini World. But there's other ideas I'm sure I could come up with. I also bought these decorative bells because I have the tree that I bought. So hopefully these will be small enough to decorate that tree. I found some glow in the dark fingernail polish. I have different colors already and this was one of the colors I don't have. And it was glow in the dark, so I'm like, okay, that'll be good in Dara's mini world or section here, right? Mini world. And then I bought this because I was like, that would make a good background, but I want to put it in the window above the fireplace because I think that would look good any time of year. I also found these that I want to go ahead and decorate the porch with. I think it would look really pretty being that we're still going into November, at the end of October, beginning of November, and I think they'll still fit in. Same with these window clings. I thought these would be great on the window by Mr. Bojangle. I figured I could use the leaves and the pumpkin. The turkey I can save for a little bit later. And then I also found more pumpkins because I love pumpkins. So I feel like I don't have enough, especially when I start to remove some stuff from the Halloween and going into November, I'm going to need more pumpkins. I bought these gingerbread lights to go around the mini world porch when I take the lights from Halloween down. I thought these were also cute window decorations. I didn't know if I would use them over here in mini world or maybe in my own windows, you know, from for my own windows. I'm not sure yet. I just thought they were really cute. And I bought some super dry clear for projects. And here's my birthday candles that I used in my ghost stand. I'm hoping it can come out without breaking it, but I don't know. I also found sprinkle nail polish that I wanted to try on some projects or creations. I found these reptiles that I thought maybe I could use in Dara's room over here, especially the frogs. Found another candle that came out of the package. Then I found these charms which I was thinking that maybe I could use over here in Mini, uh, Mini World Dara's Cabinet. That's what I'm trying to say. Dara's Cabinet or something like that. I found this snowman at the Dollar Tree. I thought he was really cute and he will look good for the yard or the Mini World porch. The last thing that I found at Dollar Tree were these foil flakes. I am pretty excited to use these 
um, one of the creations here in Mini World. We'll see how these go. I'm really excited to use those. And that is everything that I found. Oh, one more thing. I bought another kitty in my pocket because I'm still looking for the black kitty. So let's see if this is the black kitty, if I pick the right one this time. Did I? <gasps> I did! I picked the right kitty this time. I'm so excited! Whoa! I'm so excited. We have the black kitty. We have the black kitty. I'm not sure what we'll name him. His name is Ace, but I kind of like the name Ash. So... I think his name will be Ash, but I'm not sure yet. But I am so excited to have the Black Kitty for Dara's Mini World. I'm so excited. That is so awesome. I I am I'm ecstatic. I wanna maybe paint this so it glows in the dark. That would be neat with that fingernail polish to see if we can get it to glow. That would be pretty neat. All right. I guess that's it from Mini World right now. I do have some more videos coming. I've been working on things. I am trying to get rid of some stuff, you know, pass some stuff forward, condense some stuff down, just make it to where I want it. So I am in the process of redoing Luna's Imagination Station because I want to combine it with the greenhouse or her greenhouse stuff. I want to combine it and then I want it to be able to be moved from shelf to shelf, like to the dollhouse, back to a shelf, that kind of thing for different seasons. And I'm also resetting the bakery. I wanted to move the bakery and reset the bakery, so I'm working on that as well. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful October and I hope you get to relax, create, and enjoy in your mini world and I will see you next time. Bye!